The New York Knicks select. Yeah. Everyone say okay. Big Benz. Yeah. Bitch, I know. Spend a lot of time on cash and hoes. I need a road just to drive in the snow. Come from New York, so my heart that been cold. Yeah, what is up guys? Let's go back in the building. You already know the Vaz Omega family. Yo, and I just want to say, we are MT broke. But we have made probably the best team finishing season 6 going into season 7. And I'm going to show y'all right now exactly how we did it. So, make sure you like and subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Let's get into it, guys. Before we even get to how we made that MT and how we made that jump possible, I want y'all to show y'all the team itself. So the team for the Omega family for the end of season six is going to be, y'all see them right here, boys. Y'all see them right here. We got Michael Jordan at the point guard, Luca at the shooting guard, Giannis at the three, Ben Simmons at the four, Yao at the five, and then we also got LaMelo Ball off the bench, along with Chris Mullen, Richard Jefferson, Draymond Green, and Kristaps Porzingis. For those who ask me why do I use the three gold, simply because of this. When you go into Unlimited, if I were to go into Unlimited right now, they would ask me, do I want a contract? And obviously the contract is worth 60 MT for five contracts for that player. I don't run a 13-man rotation, so I'm going to go put the golds in. There's no reason to add another three Dark Matters. It doesn't make sense. I'm not going to use them. So that's why I put the three golds. Now, that being said, guys, how the heck did I make this God Squad? Well, if y'all saw my last short video, which you're going to see right now. So as y'all can see, I'm about to play uh, this short real quick because this is literally how I made my MT. It's Look at this. Like... Actually, I'm not even going to put it must be done. I'm not going to put the volume up because I'm just going to show y'all that I had 29 Hoff, Ben Simmons, KP, all of that. Look at my MT. Like, it was going for like 200K-ish. And like, this is the auction outcomes. Like, guys, this is insane. That was Ben Simmons selling for 506 MT. Giannis is selling for 726. That was 29 Hoff, Giannis. KP, 277. Kevin Durant, 374. And how much profit did I make off those? Guys, I made literally almost 1 million profit off them. Because when I bought them, I bought them super cheap. I bought Giannis for like 300K. So I made 400K off Giannis alone. This is the certified MT method. Guys, sell your cards. Sell your cards. I know you don't want to, but sell your cards. Of about 1.9 million MT. So I had 1.9 million MT to play with. And then after that, guys... What ended up happening is, y'all can see that I sold them. What ended up happening was that everything oversold. Everything's oversold. When the Invincibles dropped on Twitter last night, the market was flooded, crashed, broken, done. So I went on Current Jet and started bit sniping. So this was the team right before, actually this might be the team right before. This was the team right before I started sniping yesterday and bit sniping because I didn't actually snipe. I didn't have that much time. So y'all can see I had 1.9 million MT. And how did we end up with that squad? Well, look at this. Giannis for 34 Hall of Fame badges, including Chef, including Limited Spot of Three. All of that was going for 400k MT. So y'all see that's the first of my MT gone. For this Giannis, it was better than my 29 Hoff Giannis. The market was crashed. The next car that I bought was Michael Jordan, Mikel Jordan, with 35 Hoff badges. He went for 900k MT. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but here's the thing. Michael Jordan base card was going for a million MT, and this is more than likely, outside of Invincibles, the best card in the game so you know i had to cop him he's my favorite player 35 hoffs can't go wrong with that another thing that ended up happening was that i saw some contracts going for the low low as i can see this diamond contract went for 4k they're usually going for 16 i bought like two or three of these and ended up making even more mt off that and then lastly y'all could see that i picked up ben simmons 
for 38 Hoff badges for a little under 400 KMT. Again, I had a base Simmons for 570 ish, no, like 500 ish MT sell, 500 KMT sell, and I just got back 10 extra Hall of Fame badges for 100k less. Guys, when I tell you that I made this team and also got Kristoffs with three more Hall badges than I had before. When I tell you that I make these teams based off decisions that I made, based off the fact that I know I can make MT, I'm I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, honestly, like, look at all these contracts that sold. I kept on getting contracts. And then at the end of the day, I did end up getting LaMelo Ball. This LaMelo Ball also did have an extra Hall of Fame badge and a couple of uh, gold badges. Nothing too crazy, but I did spend about 140, 150 KMT on him. And that's basically how I got my team, guys. I sold my cards, I resold them, and when packs drop, when that Thursday hype Twitter comes around, the market gets so, so, so low that you can literally pick up juice cards for half the price. So guys, whenever season seven drops this season, uh, it's actually dropping, actually, it just dropped right now. So let me show y'all season seven real quick. <clears throat> whenever season seven drops, and it shows you a whole bunch of free cards. Make sure you get those free cards. Play with those free cards. Sell your badged up cards for mad profit. And then go back on Thursday and get them back. Do the same thing over. So y'all see season seven is right here. And there are a whole bunch of free cards. But this is going to be my team for a while. What do y'all think about my team, guys? I appreciate y'all being here. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. This is Coach Kobo signing out. Make sure you get that MC. I'll catch y'all next time.